Well, welcome back, watch people. Now, it's coming up to that time of year again, isn't it, where all us guys get to write down everything we want on a Christmas list that everyone asks for and then get absolutely none of it. So this year, I thought I'd try and help you out a little bit, get in a bit early with a few Christmas present ideas for you watch people. None of them are overly expensive. Well, I guess one or two might be a little bit uh, on the steep side, but most of them generally are going to be affordable, even affordable enough for your kids if they want to buy you a little something um, that's going to please you for Christmas. Now, before we go any further, I've just got uh, one announcement to make, and that is the winner of our free refurbishment and service uh, in time for Christmas. Um, our friend up there in Liverpool, Alex Foti, who you'll often see advertising at the start of some of my videos, excellent watchmaker, excellent refinisher, um, Billy Wilton from Billericay in Essex has uh, won that. He is the first out of the hat and Billy has a Rolex Datejust 2 in steel and gold. I'm gonna pop some pictures up of Billy's watch as it is right now. That watch is now winging its way up to Alex and it will have a complete overhaul, service, refinish, in time for Christmas, completely free of charge. All thanks to Alex Foti in association with my channel. Uh, and Billy has won himself a nice little prize there because I've got to be honest, looking at the condition of Billy's watch, in the pictures at least, I think when you see the watch when it's finished, this is a five to seven hundred pound job. Um, there's quite a lot of work required doing to that watch to get it into um, almost like new condition. So that's that one. And uh, thanks for everyone who uh, sent me those emails. Every single one of you was considered. Um, and I really appreciate it. So let's get into a few little Christmas ideas. Now, I've got to confess, I've got most of this stuff here, being an ex-watch dealer, I would, wouldn't I? But uh, the first thing, £2.50 on eBay, if that's where you choose to shop, is a watch band strap link pin spring bar remover. That's a mouthful, I'll pop a picture up on screen, and that's what it looks like. And this tool is for using on watches that have holes uh, in the side of the case on the lugs there uh, and it's just used to push to push the spring bar in so that you can remove the bracelet from your watch always be careful when you're using anything metal against your watch but we'll come uh, to a solution for that as well in a minute the second thing is um, and let's have a look the title of this is watch band bracelet tweezer plier spring bar remover now this this sort of thing here is available from about 11 pound on eBay. This one is adjustable. This is actually a good quality German one um, and it costs about 30 euros, but it does the same job. And this is used for putting in the back of your, between the lugs there and you just squeeze it in and that will remove the spring bar in one go from your watch. Now, the only downside to that is it's not always so easy. And the one thing that you will need to make a nice job of it, if I can find it, it looks like I've moved it, is this. And this is called polymide tape. And it's made specifically for watch refinishing. And all you do is you simply tear a strip off, you place it on the area of the watch where you are working, uh, and then you can uh, use your tools without fear of scratching your watch. It's the sort of thing that people actually think they're never gonna use. And when, when they've got it, they're actually surprised how much they do use it. Now, another little thing that I'd recommend for you guys is a simple traveling pouch. Uh, this is made for things like when you go through security at airports, um, when you have to take your watch off, maybe if you're staying at a hotel, you just pop it like that in your little case, about £1.50 again on eBay, nice and safe, and your watch won't get scratched. You can buy a genuine Rolex one or whatever brand you choose for a lot more money, again, probably on eBay, um, but uh, frankly, they all do the same job. Now, one of the obvious things that you'll know I'm gonna mention, and uh, these were all within arm's reach of me just before I did this video, and that's uh, a selection of jewelers loops, okay, all different shapes and sizes. Wherever I am in my life, I never seem to be far away from a jewelers loop. That is an absolute must have as is uh, a good pair of stainless steel tweezers. I think these are always a good idea. Um, great when you're removing screws from a bracelet, you know, you undo the screw, but you just can't quite get them out. Nice pair of quality tweezers are always useful to have. Something else that I would advise that you don't skimp on is a real nice quality 
set of watchmakers screwdrivers. These are about 45, 50 pounds to buy the genuine ones. And I would strongly advise that you do just that. If you buy the cheap Chinese knockoff ones, they buckle, they bow, they bend, they break, and they really are worth having. Another little cheap great idea for Christmas is a little pair of digital scales. They're again useful for authenticizing the, the, the weight of your watch, the weight of individual um, links. Very useful, five, six pounds, well worth having. Um, how about some tickets for the uh, London Watch Show in April? That would be nice. Nice surprise, easy to buy, online, available now. Um, the Mondani range of books is absolutely excellent, but of course they are gonna cost a little bit more money, but hugely, hugely recommended, guys. Wonderful periodicals, just beautiful pieces of art, really, uh, and well worth having. Watch winders, we'll cover watch winders. You don't have to spend a fortune on watch winders. Um, frankly, they are pretty much all doing the same job. Of course, the higher quality winder you buy, the longer the motor is gonna last, the better the fit and finish. But ultimately, most of them really are only just used just simply to wind our watches. Now, what I would really advise um, is a battery powered one or one where you can get power to it in your safe because you don't wanna be leaving your winder outside the safe. That kind of defeats the object, isn't it? But uh, I'll pop a few different variants of watch winders up on screen for you to have a look at. But uh, in all fairness, the only real benefit that I see to the high, higher quality watch winders is the fact that the fit and finish will be better and the motors might be a tiny bit quieter. But other than that, they all do the same job. And you can buy them on eBay from like 10 pound upwards. They're very, very cheap these days and a great little Christmas gift. All right, guys, well, I think that's about it. I hope it's given you a few ideas, little things that you can put down that uh, you'd like to see in your Christmas stocking. Thanks for watching and we'll speak again soon.